I just want to take a second to show you the programming of the radio. Obviously, you might want to skip this step if you're very experienced at programming radios. Now, I didn't bother with Chirp. I'm not sure if this model is supported in Chirp. I quite like the Radtel software. I've used it before. I think it's actually more intuitive than Chirp. So you find the Radtel software on the Radtel website. You do have to look for it. You have to scroll right down to the bottom of the page. Usual thing to download this type of software. Now Windows Defender will probably throw up an error message. Simply click more info and then run anyway. And get the program installed on your computer. This is what we first see when we open the software. Incidentally, where it says work range, you'll see this massive wide spread of frequencies. Uh, the radio won't work with these frequencies and it does say that just below. You can now go ahead and plug your radio into the program lead and then into your computer. It should automatically select your comp point. Uh, mine didn't, I had to manually select mine. Once we've got the correct comp port, we can then go ahead and click read from the radio. When you launch the software, the first thing you get are the basic settings. There's two sets of config files. Now, I really like Radtel programming software. I think it's quite intuitive. There's lots of options. And one I especially like is that you can completely switch off the timeout from the menu systems on the radio. Another really good feature is the ability to reprogram all of the buttons on the radio. Originally, I thought only the bottom two were programmable. Even the little top, what's known as the emergency button, you can program that to whatever you want. Also, if you want, you can reprogram the second button as an additional PTT. We can now go ahead and click the channel tab. Now we can see all of the frequencies that are in the radio when it left the factory. These are just simple test frequencies a little bit close to the ham bands. And we can see here why it is so important to reprogram the radio. In fairness to Radtel, they're not close to any emergency or aviation frequencies, but we need to completely wipe these from the radio. It's a real pain trying to delete all of these by hand. So the easiest way is just to click new and then we have a fresh page where we can add our PMR frequencies. A simple Google search will find you the UK PMR frequencies. Obviously, if you're in America, you've got your own public network frequencies and you'll find them easy enough. The one that I prefer to use myself is a website called Radio Trader. And here are our standard 16 public band channels. Now, the good thing is that the software does support copy and paste. So you can simply highlight these frequencies one at a time and you can paste them into the program software. You only have to do this once on the TX frequency and you'll find that all the other cells are populated. The only thing that I like to change is the bandwidth. It automatically defaults to wide. Um, I prefer to use narrow on 446. And that's it, you're pretty much done. I did scroll right down to the bottom of the channel memories and found a couple of uh, frequencies in the VFO A and B. I did try and delete these, but they kept popping back. And uh, I managed to sort this out on the radio. I'll show you this at the end of the video. But anyway, the 16 channels are now in the memories. Go ahead and save this file onto your computer in case you want to load this again, and then click write and program the radio. So that's it, you're all set now. You've got the 16 PMR frequencies in the 16 memory slots on the radio. However, I hit a problem at this stage. Even though I switched the radio to channel mode and not frequency mode, when I went to key up, it still resorted to the VFO frequency mode. I couldn't quite work this out, but the answer was in the menus itself. Just go into the basic menu, choose main PTT TX, and then set this from area A to main area and that solved the problem that also got rid of the uh, vfo frequencies and now when i looked at the display i could see my channel name and the correct pmr channel frequency and it would transmit on that band and that's it congratulations your radtel 860 is now set up as a dark side pmr radio of course 
as usual the warning is that it's illegal to do this you should not be using this radio on pmr so please use with caution at your own risk i did do a main review on this radio showing you a lot more of the features and the functions of this radio and also some received tests on the shortwave band with a little bit of ham radio thrown in so if you've missed that please check that out on the main channel but other than that i hope this video has been useful to you as always please give me a thumbs up if it has and i'll catch you on the next video cheers guys Fred's in the shed where the magic gun falls Fred in the shed with his trusty cb he's a friend to the lonely on a frequency